Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Lara for those of you that do not know and today we are going to be doing another book recommendations video. We are going to be talking about the beloved trope of I hate everybody in the world except for you. So we're basically just talking about those books where one character is super closed off to the world, super mean and broody and just has no emotions seemingly so until he or she finds the right companion and it's always just so satisfying. I'm obsessed with this trope. I can't believe I haven't done a video on this yet because I have so many fantastic reads to share with you guys and I'm super excited to get into it. Before we get into it, however, I do want to quickly say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, which is Babbel Novel. This is actually an application for your phone or your tablet and it is a reading app. They have a super large array of different romance stories to choose from. A lot of them lean more on like the erotic romance side. So if you're looking for something fun to read kind of in between novels that you're reading, like you want to just spice it up, read something you've never heard before. These are stories that you don't find, you know, on iBooks and Kindle. So here you can see what the app actually looks like. They have different sections. As you can see, I'm under the For Her section. And you can just totally scroll down and explore. There's different categories to look through, different types of books on here. There's so many things to choose from. And then once you find a story that you want to read, you can just go on there, click Read Now, and then it's all there laid out for you. Super simple. So it's like a total new pot of stories. It's not books that you're going to be familiar with, but there's a lot of different stories that you might be interested in. Like right now I'm currently reading If Only He Knew, which is a story about like a friends to lovers arranged marriage type thing, which is pretty juicy. So I've been reading that one and I've been enjoying it on the app, but there's so many different books that you guys can choose from. And if you click the link down below, you can get a free membership and you can read as many books as you want on the app. It's a limited quantity of free memberships that they're giving away to my followers. So if you're interested interested in checking out Babbel, I highly recommend going to the link down in the description, downloading the app, getting your free membership, and you'll be good to go. Go explore the app, tell me what stories you guys find, if there's any that you think I need to read or any that you find fascinating, let me know. But thank you so much to Babbel for sponsoring. I'm really excited to be working with you guys. I love being able to share more unknown voices in the writing world. I think that's really cool and it's fun to get to experience that as well. I never would have found these stories if it wasn't for the app. So I think it's really fun. It's a great inclusive way to read more diversely. So yeah, go check out the app. Thank you again, Babbel, for sponsoring this video. Other than that though, let's get into my recommendations for I hate everybody in the world except for you. My first recommendation is called Line Mates and Study Dates by Eden Finley and Saxon James. Now this is actually a part of a companion novel series called the CU Hockey Series. However, don't let that intimidate you. You can totally read this as a standalone and you'll be perfectly fine. This is a book that I recently read and I just fell in love with the story. It is a gay hockey player romance. One of the characters is a hockey player at this university and he's had a really rough past year. His parents died in a car accident leaving him and his older brother with all of these younger siblings to watch after. So that piled on with college and hockey. He's just under a ton of stress, doesn't get along with a lot of people, doesn't like a lot of people. So he's kind of the one that we're talking about here we're referring to I hate everybody but you and the you in this situation is the coach of the hockey team's son. He's agreed to assist the team as kind of like an equipment manager and he kind of gets assigned the task to look after this other guy because he's kind of irrational. He does a lot of crazy stuff and they don't want him to go haywire when the season is going on. So he's kind of assigned to look after him but they sort of strike up an unlikely friendship and the story goes from there. I love this book so much. I personally love the whole entire CU Hockey series. I think all of the books are done so well. There's just like the perfect amount of angst and build up to all of their relationships. They just always never see to amaze me. So I definitely recommend checking out this book. It's my favorite that I've read as of recent. And I think that this trope really shines bright in this book. So highly recommend. Next book on my list is Three Little Mistakes by Nikki Sloan. This is a part of her Blindfold Club series. It's book three. But again, you can totally read this as a standalone and you'll be totally fine. This book is about a guy who owns like a sex club type thing. It's hard to explain and put it into words. But basically he's like the leader of this like sex club. And then there's this girl who's super kind of naive and shy and just like totally not his type. He's older than her. He's kind of tainted. He's had a lot of bad things happen to him in the past. So he doesn't really see the world in the way that she does because she's so young and carefree and whatnot. They happen upon each other one night and they both just can't seem to stay away from one another, even though they're a super unlikely pairing. And this trope is totally explored in this book through the man. He's just super like 
cut off from the world, doesn't really see anything as good. He's really a victim of his past circumstances, like I said, and I just think that this girl really brings out the best in him, and I just love their relationship. This is my favorite book from the whole series, and there's just something about them two together that's so special and so fun to see unfold. There's really nothing like seeing a super closed off guy who just thinks he's never gonna find love, thinks he'll never find happiness, and seeing somebody else like bring out the best in him. Like that's just my favorite thing in a book. So I highly recommend this book if you're interested in that. I think it's really good, super steamy, super wild ride. There's a lot going on in this one, but it's really, really fun and I think you'll enjoy it. Next book is another recent read from me that I talked about recently and that is Tris Six Venom by Penelope Douglas. This is like one of my all-time favorite books that I read this year. I loved it so much. It is about a lesbian couple and they are polar opposites. They both go to high school together. They're seniors. One of them is like this super popular, rich, very like socialite girl. And the other one is kind of like from the wrong side of the tracks, has like a tainted past, all that. But they're much more alike than they think. And they both just butt heads. It's super enemies to lovers. When I think of this trope of like, I hate everyone in the world but you, I feel like it applies to both of them. Both of them have like really hard times like adjusting to their environment and like opening up to people around them and I think that they bring out the best in one another even though they constantly fight in this book and there's constant arguments and it's just really a wild ride, super bully romance vibes. However, I couldn't not mention this book because I feel like this trope really represents their relationship and everything that they feel towards each other. So I really wanted to throw it in there. Again, like I said, it's my favorite book that I've read this year and it's just like nothing I've ever read before and I'm trying to get as many people to read it as possible because it's just that good. I want to hear everybody's thoughts about it. So yeah, highly, highly recommend this book. The next book on my list is Up in Flames by Abby Glines. This is one of my favorites and I think it's really underrated when it comes to Abby Glines books. It is a part of her Rosemary Beach series. In fact, it's the last book. So do I recommend reading the other books before this one? Kind of. Do you have to? No. Will it spoil things? Sorta. So like take it as you will. If you're looking to read the Rosemary Beach series and you want to read them all, go read them all. If you don't care, just read this one. You know what I mean? This book is controversial because it follows the villain of the whole series named Nan. She's just one of those people who's like a bitch to everybody, always has an attitude, always has an issue, and she's pretty unlikable throughout the series, I will say. So when Abby was like gonna write this book about her, I remember people were like, why does she even get a book? Like, like who cares about her? Um, so I was kind of in that same boat as well, but then I read the book and it ended up being one of my favorites of the whole series, which is kind of shocking, but I absolutely love this book. And in the case like of this trope, she is definitely the character who hates everybody but this guy that ends up being her love interest. And so I really love to see a different side of her character in that way, which is why I do sort of recommend reading the whole series because then you get to really enjoy kind of the transition of her character and the evolution of her, but you don't have to read all of them if you don't want to. You can just go read this book, but I really love this relationship. I really don't have a ton to say about the plot other than it's about a girl who finds somebody who brings out the better in her, and the story just kind of goes. It's a typical Abby Glines, just like really sweet, really cute, but steamy and fun romance book, and that's really all I have to say about it but I highly recommend this one. And if you've read it, let me know because I want to know your thoughts on Nan, if you're a lover or if you're a hater of her character. Next book on my list is called Real by Katie Evans. I absolutely love this book. It is about a fighter. His name is Remington and this girl who is a physical therapist who travels with him to all of his fights and their unlikely relationship that forms. She's also a former athlete, so they really relate on that level. But he is super dark, super tainted, super just closed off from the world as a lot of these characters are. Um, but on a different level, he has a lot of mental issues and struggles that you get to see explored throughout this book that kind of hold him back from having a lot of relationships with people that are successful and work out and he can be normal um, because of his issues that he has. So you see this one girl character come in and kind of take him for what he is and accept him and you see what that does to him and how they just kind of meld together and form a really cute perfect relationship. Not perfect, honestly far from perfect, but you get to see how they really complement each other and how much he loves her. It is so sweet. Um, it's a really fun one. It's a very typical like 
early 2010s new adult romance like the vibe of like beautiful disaster if you will like it's a little raunchy it's a little bit like I don't, I'm not sure if I love this but then you read it and you're like I kind of love it does that make sense I don't know if that makes sense but I really love this one it's a classic is what I'm trying to say I feel like a lot of people have read it but if you haven't it's a wild ride it's super fun it's also a series but you don't have to read the whole series you can just read this book it's the first one so do with that information what you will but I really recommend it I enjoy it next book on my list is called lead by Kylie Scott I love this book this is a series called the stage dive series which is actually being turned into a movie I believe on passion flicks which that's exciting like I'm excited for that um, but this is my favorite book in the series it's the third book it's about the singer the um, series follows a band and so every book is about a different member of the band so this one's about the singer Jimmy and he is the one that has issues <laughs> he's the one that has you know an anger problem he doesn't get along with everybody he's had different things happen in his past that have made him how he is whatever and so the rest of the band is very concerned for him and they're like he's off his rocker he needs to like be kept in check so they hire a girl to kind of keep an eye on him kind of like an assistant in a way um but they sort of form a friendship as she has to kind of watch over him and the lines get blurred stuff happens but I really enjoy the progression of this book. The relationship is so heart-wrenching and just hard to read at times, but so good. Like this character, he really thinks that he's unlovable, which sometimes that trope, it's like, okay, like get over it. Like they love you. Like you don't have to sit here and think you're unlovable for like 25 chapters. But this one, it's actually like super heart-wrenching and just gets you. Um, I've reread this book multiple times and every single time I read it, I'm like in tears, just like heart beating for this character character like I love him so much um so I highly recommend this one again it's the case of like you don't have to read the whole series you could totally just read this one but I do recommend the whole series considering it is becoming a movie so maybe check it out but this book in particular is definitely my favorite and really encompasses this whole trope next book on my list is Dirty Wicked Prince by Eden O'Neill this is like a dark high school bully romance type read I feel like it's a very typical bully romance about a girl who moves to a new school and there's this group of guys who just kind of rule the school they're all rich all of their families kind of like own this town basically and they're kind of the guys that are in charge she's very loud and outspoken and crazy and she does something to set them off on the first day of school and now she's kind of made herself a target to these boys and there's one boy in particular who just takes it extra personal the story kind of progresses from there with them kind of having this vendetta against each other obviously this ends up transpiring into something more throughout the book this is also a series that the second book hasn't come out yet so there's only the first one it does end on a cliffhanger this book surprised me I wasn't super into it at the beginning but by the end chapter I was like off my seat like needing to read more so it was definitely a wild ride I really recommend it however the male character in this book super closed off super broody to every single person including the main character until he isn't until he opens up to her and I really like that aspect of the book so highly recommend it if you're a fan of like bully dark academia romances I think you'll like this one the next book on my list is actually kind of similar to the last one and it's called Hood River Rat by Kay Webster weird name um this is the first book of a series so you can just read the first one or you can continue on this book follows a boy who moves to a new town and he's just like really intent on like getting his studies done going home doing whatever like he doesn't really want to bother with like the whole social scene and in fact he doesn't really care about any of that but there is a group of guys kind of similar to the last book who just kind of get set off by him and just I don't know they kind of just have a vendetta against him for no reason like the difference between this and the last book is that the girl from the last book is like equally as like ballsy and just doesn't care and is like mean back the guy in this book is kind of like why are they picking on me like I didn't do anything but there's these guys who just have a problem with him and bully him and make his life hell and the story kind of continues from there so it's a gay romance between these two guys one's from the group one is the new guy at school and the romance just kind of goes from there really really love this one I love a good bully romance in general but this one's really cute it's fast-paced it's honestly a quick read I think I read it in literally one sitting so I highly recommend it for that reason but 
I really liked the progression of this one and the characters ended up really warming my heart in the end, so highly recommend it. Next book on my list is Lost and Found by Nicole Williams. This is a personal favorite of mine. I am obsessed with this book. I don't know what it is ever since I read it. I've been a huge fan. It's about a girl who kind of has a wild past and she wants to go to art school after graduating high school, but her mom really wants her to go and straighten out at her best friend's farm and live there for the summer and prove that she can be adult and not be crazy. Crazy, um, before she goes off to art school. So she's sent away to this farm where she stays with a family who has this son who's like the perfect gentleman, super cute, super sweet, well-mannered boy, and she's like this crazy eccentric bad girl. And so this is a really fun one because I love the bad girl good boy trope that happens here, but also this is very much I hate everybody but you with this girl character. She thinks she's unlovable, she thinks that she'll never find somebody, and through this book you kind of see the exploration of her relationship with this boy from the farm and it's just so good. I love this book. I love the story. I love the way it's told. The progression of the relationship is so cute and realistic and just I love it a lot. If you're looking for a good bad girl good boy book this is like my go-to recommendation every single time so definitely recommend it if you're looking for that. The last book on my list is called Egomaniac by Vi Keelan. Vi Keelan is one of my favorite authors. Her books literally never disappoint and this is a personal favorite of mine about a girl who goes to an office space that she thinks is hers and it ends up belonging to this guy who is super egotistical as the name of the book suggests. He's like threatening her being like why are you in my office like I could report this to the police I could do all these things and she's like freaking out um, but then they end up striking a deal where she ends up helping him out at the office but he's super broody he's super mean he's super closed off. You get to kind of see the progression of the relationship while she's in the office throughout the book and you get to kind of understand why he is the way he is and you unravel a bit about his personality and I just remember really enjoying this one. Vi Keelan has a way of writing books that start off with like a really simple plot like this where the two characters meet in some unlikely way, but then the book always ends up delving into something a lot more real and a lot more fascinating and you get to learn a lot about the characters. So if you haven't read Vi Keelan yet, I definitely recommend reading this book, but it's a perfect recommendation for the trope that we're talking about here. So definitely check that one out if you haven't already. So guys, those are my recommendations for the I hate everybody in the world but you trope. I hope that you guys enjoyed and you have something new to read. Definitely let me know what your favorite books are that fall under this trope. I'm always looking for new recommendations from you guys. So tell me in a comment down below or you can tweet me or comment on my Instagram or anything like that. I'm at lovely like Lara on all platforms. I again want to say a huge thank you to Babbel Novel for sponsoring this video and if you want to get your free membership make sure to go check out the link in my bio down below along with any other additional information I may not have covered in the video. But definitely go check that out. Thank you again Babbel for sponsoring. Other than that though guys, I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will talk to you all very very soon in my next video. Bye!